Created in 1925, the 27,000 km squared Virunga National Park is home to active volcanoes, forests, savanna, and some of the world's last mountain gorillas. But tourism lodges here lie empty, and none but the most adventurous travelers visit, due to a nearly two decade long conflict in the region, which has left millions dead and great swaths of territory, much of it in the park itself, under rebel control. The UNESCO World Heritage Site is fast becoming an increasing focus for those seeking to exploit Central Africa's oil deposits. There are major threats to the park. Um, there's the situation of armed conflict. Um, there are the pressures from different industries, including petrol. The discovery of oil near the border with Virunga in Congo's most stable neighbor Uganda has prompted growing interest from Congolese authorities about the potential of blocks lying in what is known as the Albertin Graben, along the country's eastern border. Last year, the authorities gave British company Soko International permission to begin aerial surveys within the so-called Block 5, around Lake Edward, in the heart of the Virunga, a move that has sparked outrage amongst conservationists. But for long-suffering locals living in one of the most beautiful but one of the poorest places in the world, the presumed wealth generated by oil seems an attractive option. For me, this seems like a really good opportunity because not only is that going to improve unemployment for the residents, but also it will improve the local economy. Why not even the economy of the country? Nationally, the debate over Virunga has raised questions over how a country whose economy lies in ruins after decades of corruption and conflict can best profit from an area of outstanding natural beauty but possibly also great mineral wealth. The granting of mineral prospecting rights and attempts to carry out seismic surveying in the park could put Soko and the government on a collision course with UNESCO, which prohibits such activities within its World Heritage Sites. What are the consequences of oil exploration? The first consequence will be the effect it will have on the fisheries, which is the main resource that the communities around and inside the park depend on. The fisheries will be put in danger, especially due to the pollution that will surely be caused by oil exploration. According to Soko, the company has established with the Congolese government that it would be acting legally to carry out exploration under Lake Edward. However, advocates for conservation quote a worldwide fund for nature commissioned study which has indicated that the park will contribute $48.9 million annually to the economy, climbing to $1.1 billion per year if a tourism sector can be established there. Peter Kaba, CCTV.